Minister Ursula von der Leyen is seeking another term as European Commission President, but in order to secure that, she'll need to be nominated by the European People's Party, of which Fine Gael is obviously a member. So will Fine Gael be supporting von der Leyen in her bid for the presidency? Well, that's going to be a matter uh, for the party leader to make and a decision for him to make. There'll be an EPP Congress coming up very shortly. Uh, but I think uh, Ursula von der Leyen has done an exceptional job uh, as uh, President of the European Commission. I'm delighted to see her put her name forward for a second term. Uh, she was an immensely strong supporter of Ireland during Brexit. Uh, she did an exceptional job during the COVID pandemic, despite the many challenges of us. And I think she's been an extremely successful leader of the European Commission. I'll leave it to the party leader to make a decision in relation to the support of her candidacy. But I think this broad recognition of what a great job she's done. But personally, for, for your part and, and yourself, Minister Harris, you would support uh, uh, Ursula von der Leyen to go for a second crack of the whip? I, I, I would, um, for the reasons that I have just said. I agree, I agree with Minister Tunney, but it obviously is ultimately a matter for the EPP electoral structures and I think there's a Congress coming up uh, quite shortly. My understanding is that's part of the process to select uh, candidates, but I don't think it's a great surprise that President von der Leyen um, has now indicated her willingness to serve a second term and obviously our party leader and others will engage as part of that process. What about her handling of the, the war in Gaza? Would you not have any concerns about that? I think, look, we've made known and the government has made known uh, our views regarding the, uh, the Commission's early response back uh, to the awful developments that took place in Gaza. But I think it's important to evaluate any individual or political leader in the round. Uh, and while the government uh, did have concerns regarding uh, some of the statements and the earlier reaction back to the conflict in the Middle East, I would judge her leadership and her contribution to the European Union in the round. And in the round overall, I think she has been a really strong leader of the Commission and the European Union and is really well placed to provide stability at a time in which such change is taking place and the Union's facing so many different difficulties. Minister with the Metrolink.